Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, Windows 10 and Windows 11 have a feature called MS Config, which is a feature that's built very deeply into the OS. And back in the day, I used to tweak and adjust MS Config, thinking it would speed up my PC. So I thought this may be a good time just to talk about um, if changing the number of processors or adjusting your maximum memory in MS Config can actually speed up your PC. Now, just a quick um, recap here in case you kind of think I'm going down a rabbit trail. How we get to MS Config is the simplest would be on Windows 10 and Windows 11. Just right click on your start, click on Run, enter MS Config into Run, click on OK. And this is the system configuration dialog and menu. Now, yeah, you'll see if we head over to boot and we click on advanced options. Yeah, at the top, we get two little toggles and settings, number of processors and maximum memory. Now, this is um, what I used to do back in the day. I used to pop this on and then bump this right up to how many processors I had or, or cores I had in my processor. And I would do the same with my memory. I would pop that on and then push it right up to the maximum amount I had in my system. Now, if you are wondering if adjusting and fiddling with these settings uh, is going to speed up your PC, the short answer is no. So if you want to dial out of the video now, you are welcome to. But if you want to hang around and let me explain why, then the main reason why a lot of users, including myself back in the day, used to adjust the number of processors is because, as you can see, by default, it says one. So basically, um, users think that it's only using one core of your processor, as an example. And what does this actually mean, that number one and number of processors? First of all, this is used for debugging processor cores, okay? And Windows, um, by default, already has access to all of your cores and uses them and adjusts them when necessary. So setting this to try and number of processors, trying to set this to um, four, as an example, isn't going to do anything. In fact, it might actually negatively impact your performance or stability. And unless you are debugging processor cores, you should keep this feature disabled and just leave that at the default one or just turn it off, okay? So that's the long and the short about the number of processors. So increasing the number of cores might limit the number of processors you, processors you use or cause problems. So just take that into consideration. Now moving on to maximum memory. Now, what this is all about, basically, is this is a feature that allows you to set the maximum memory that your operating system can use. And it's actually used to simulate low memory conditions on your PC. And you shouldn't enable the setting because obviously very similar to what we spoke about with the number of processors, your PC is already using all your memory and has access to all your memory. So fiddling with this isn't going to adjust uh, the amount of memory your system can use. So changing it's changing it's not going to improve your performance. And just like fiddling with the number of processors um, can also cause stability issues and actually degrade your performance and achieve the 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 um, negative results instead of the positive result results by actually thinking adjusting these is actually going to boost or speed up your uh, your PC. So as mentioned, the short answer is no. Just leave these two alone. Don't be like me back in the day. Um, just leave these boxes unchecked. It's not going to change anything and it will not improve your performance. And as mentioned, it may cause stability issues. But then, nonetheless, I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.